Want to know what's in my home gym? Well, we're going to talk about it in today's video. Today is video two in the My Favorite series. But before we get into that, let's look at today's scripture, which is Proverbs 11 and 1. The Bible says, A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Today I wanted to go and do a home gym tour because I have some equipment that I've just really fallen in love with and for the workouts that I do, it's just enough. It's not a huge gym. It's not got, I don't have a ton of equipment. I like the free weights. So it really just, it's perfect for everything that I have. The only other thing I wanted to do is get a leg press. So we found a video on YouTube, of course, where a gentleman actually built his own leg press for like under $200. So I'm like, that's what I think we're going to do because the machine that I want is thousands of dollars and I don't have enough room yet. And if, you know, eventually I'd like to build my own literal gym in its own building with the heat and AC, that would be wonderful for the summer and winter months when it's really hot and really cold. But until then, I'll stick with what I have. So we're going to go through and talk about everything that we have in there. Thinking about a home gym, obviously the main thing in there are weights. That is what weight training is all about. And my thoughts went to looking for a scripture that, you know, it correlated with the weights. However, you know, when we think about the Lord, he is just and he is honest and fair and you know everything that he does he will look for equality and you know try he tries to treat everybody tries he does he treats everybody the same it made me think about the just weights and balances that our lord uses to judge us in our everyday lives so if you want to get ready let's head over to the gym So we're just going to do a span and then I'll talk about everything that we have. This is a punching bag that we, uh, my husband found. I, you know what? I'll tell you this right now. A lot of the little decoration type stuff, either my husband found it or he's had it forever or it was given to him. So it's, you know, kind of our little just, you know, makeshift decoration. But, you know, I'm okay with it. It just brings a little character in here. So these little guys are my steps that I've had, wow, 20, 30 years. I can't even remember. So this is my tried and true my soul f60 i've had this treadmill man probably like 10 no but about probably eight years i don't even think they make this model anymore i love it over here i got my mat that i lie down on the floor this is my hyperextension bench that i love and then here are some little weights that we got way back in the day. Actually, those were my husband's. This is the weights that I got probably again eight years ago. Core, so they go from, if you can see, they go from five pounds and you do that all the way up to 50 pounds. So here, is my body solid weight bench so here's our regular position 
It can go all the way up. Oh, joy, it's raining, guys. Like sitting. And then it also has a decline so that it can go down. And then the best part, I'm going to show you how that leg attachment works. So take this little guy off. Lift that part of the seat up. Bring this guy right here. And then put your seat back down. And there's a pin in here that kind of locks it in place. Put your weights on this piece, and for whatever reason, this bar is kind of little. So we found one of those little styrofoamy kind of guys. Get your weights. Put them on here. That way, it takes up a little bit of that slack. So for your leg extensions, you'll sit in here and do it. This way for your leg curls. Get your legs under here and come all the way to your buttocks. These are all my weights so far, not a ton. Um, the weight rack. My husband found that, so we gave it a little splash of color have my am gym weights and also here these are our mirrors that we actually found if you can believe that and all of these little things my hubby put a little decoration together for me and of course his you know my gym sign oh and this is another addition for our gym that he just had to put in but my favorite piece, and this is my, that's my backdrop, his little Humvee portrait he got a long time ago, and then there's his little Hummer guy. This is my squat rack that I love, love, love so much. So this, I will tell you, it was called Fitness Reality. I couldn't find a body salad one that I liked for the price. This one was pricey enough for me. I love body salad, but I'll get a bigger, better one later. This had everything that I needed and more. It's very heavy. It's commercial quality. I think it's got like, I keep thinking an 800 pound capacity for the weight. I'll have to double check. But I love it. It comes with the dip bars, although I'm, you know, not really strong enough to do those yet. So we've got our um, rack here, the adjustable rack, you can put those anywhere. I love that it had this. This is the part that I always hang my bar on when I do my stiff leg deadlifts because I never drop it down to the floor. So it's awesome they had that. They've got all the adjustable things here that I can put the pegs out here or put these guys out here. It's got the wide grip, you know, the pull-up bar. So what I love about this piece is it's got the lat pull-down up top, and then it also has my bar that I could do from the bottom. This is my Olympic bar, so it is 45 pounds with no weights on it. It is some feet long and then these, you know, steel ends spin simultaneously. Before we end this video, now that we're back from that gym, I wanted to say one thing, I'm gonna put a shameless plug in here. So it's still a work in progress. I got a lot of things that I want to do more elaborate, but I really wanted to come out with a workout journal that just is basic information of, 
you know, what your workout is for the day. And I liked this interior because it had, you know, a spot to put back, chest, legs, shoulders, whatever body part you're working. And then I've got to look at it here. We'll look at it together. So we've got date, time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever. You've got your workout, your set, your reps, the amount of weight, several lines to go down. And then it's got a spot at the bottom for the cardio so you can log what you did, how long, how you felt. So I just think it's a, a little bitty, it's a six by nine little workout book. Um, I actually tried to fill it out this morning, but I of course use pencil for everything. So you probably can't even see this, but I'll put a link on this. I have these available on Amazon and everything that I got from the gym, 99% of it is from Amazon. And like I said in the video, the treadmill, Soul doesn't make that F60 anymore. I think F63 might be the lowest one that, because I've had that thing for like eight years. So I found a link for that as well. So I'll put links to everything in the description below. So if you're interested in looking at any of these pieces of equipment, you'll see where it is, how to get it. Most of it, like I said, was on Amazon. It was shipped mostly within one or two days. I think that leg extension and leg curl attachment, let me think. I think that it was shipped over from the UK and I'm of course in the US so it took maybe a week or so but it was amazing it wasn't all that long but so anyway so you can get your workout journals to start logging your workouts as well as any of the other equipment that you've seen and if you have any recommendations for me for either stuff I don't have yet or stuff that I could use definitely let me know in the comments below so my question for the comment section below is what does your home gym look like let's talk about it in the comments so I want to say thank you so much for coming thanks for stopping by if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and let me know you care and if you know anybody who would like this type of content please forward my video to them and then if you have not subscribed already, please do so and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And speaking of new videos, my next video is going to be the best whole food protein powder because if you're anything like me, you want real stuff and no fillers in your protein powder. But until then, we'll see you next time. Scratch!